Lightning has sparked a series of wildfires in southern and eastern British Columbia. A section of the Trans-Canada Highway is now shut down. And authorities have issued evacuation orders because the merciless heat is supercharging those wildfires. CTV's Penny Daflos reports. Smoke-choked skies hang over the Fraser Canyon as the aggressive Shetland Creek wildfire resists efforts to tame it. It's been very stressful. This is our third major fire since 2017, the third time the village has gone on alert. The communities of Ashcross, Spence's Bridge and Cash Creek are preparing to evacuate, watching to see just where the 150 square kilometer blaze could shift next. We're geared up and we're actively just getting everything uh, secured and ready for this fight if it should come our way. Ranchers are taking advantage of calm weather to move hundreds of cattle to safety. They can't plan too far ahead given how quickly things are changing. A lot of different variables, a lot of different factors involved. The fire did roughly an eight and a half kilometer run north. There are now more than 120 firefighters plus heavy equipment operators and 10 helicopters battling the Shetland Creek blaze. But there are hundreds more now burning across BC following weeks of high heat drying out our forests. It's easy to look at that 324 fires and uh, and be overwhelmed but we have had good initial attack success in the last seven days we've declared 182 wildfires out they're doing a magnificent job i'm very thankful for them mother nature continues to work against them hot dry conditions are forecast to continue with even more lightning expected over the last three days we've had a lot of lightning um, and that has again landed in those really dry forest fuels sparking even more fires in the tinderbox that is the back country the next 24 to 48 hours are really going to be the critical point for for this region. Plans are now unfolding for a new camp for firefighters to stay there long term as the Fraser Canyon becomes the site of what may be a months long battle to preserve homes and livelihoods. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.